Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem Types of Burgers of February Circuits 2022 Okay, so yes, okay, so uh, let's begin with uh, discussing the concepts that is being required to solve this problem uh, efficiently Here I have written down something but yes, I will explain uh, what are the main ideas that we need to know So let me write down main idea so you need to know the concept of priority queue how it is going to work like it is in C++ uh, you can also understand it through max C we can call it as so you need to know how we are going to process the elements in the priority queue and find out the answers efficiently also we are going to use the idea of BFS like we are, like we are not strictly using the BFS but yes we are going to use the idea of generating all the possible combinations and finding out the suitable combination like yeah, I will tell you while we discuss the problem okay so let's move on to discuss this problem there is a person Bob that sells burgers with three different combinations B1, B2, B3 okay so let me write down informations B1, B2 and B3 so we have the burgers of these three types so it will be like a B1 okay so B11 B12 uh, yeah so B12 B13 and it goes on till B1x like you can see the sizes of the burgers will be B1x total x burgers of B1 combinations similarly B21 B22 B23 and it goes till b2 y there are total y burgers of uh, second type and again b31 b32 and it goes on till b3z okay so yeah so what we need to find it out is like the there is a person alice that decides to buy k boxes containing three burgers one from each of the combinations okay so let us write down that also that would help us to understand efficiently k boxes that needs uh, to be like bought by the person Alice such that uh, let's say we have a box of type A, B and C okay that contains burgers A, B and C now A must be from first type burger and B must be from second type burger and C must be from third type burger okay like uh, A must be chosen from this one, B must be chosen from this one, C must be chosen from this one. Right, okay. So, we need to find out, uh, okay, we need to print the total sum of deliciousness that Alice can get by buying K boxes. Okay, and the deliciousness of the box is the sum of the deliciousness of the burgers present inside it. Okay, so let me explain it through simple words. So this the data that are present over here you can see are actually the deliciousness of the burger okay and we need to choose the k burgers like we need to form k boxes and each box containing the burgers from the respective combinations and we need to maximize maximize the sum of deliciousness by choosing k boxes okay choosing k boxes so like uh, how uh, we can understand this problem efficiently is that so first tell me just one thing that what are the total number of combinations possible let me write down total combinations possible okay so uh, like uh, we have the boxes uh, k boxes like we need to form k boxes but we are not interested here right now to uh, understand the, how we are going to do that so first let's understand what are the total possible combinations so the first burger will be chosen uh, the like the first entry in the box will be from the this b1 type and the second entry will be from b2 type and the third entry from the b3 type now just tell me that the very first entry 
what are the total number of ways to choose this burger since there are x amount of burgers so we have x and x type of ways to choose that and here y type of ways to choose that and z type of ways to choose that so x into y into z is the total number of combinations that we are going to have right so uh, like we need to form k boxes with max uh, with maximum sum of deliciousness by choosing the suitable burgers right so since we need to maximize the sum of deliciousness so the best way is to sort the respective burgers first in non increasing order okay so let me write down non increasing order we are going to sort so it means that the burgers should be like this one like this one they are satisfying this relation right suppose they are satisfying the relation when we are sorting the burgers like that okay so just tell me one thing that what is the uh, maximum sum of deliciousness if k is 1 so if k is 1 we need to choose a box containing the burgers a b c right and the the sum of deliciousness like uh, deliciousness let me write down will be a plus b plus c where a is chosen from burger of type b1 b is chosen from burger of type b2 and c is chosen from burger of type b3 since we need to maximize that what we are going to do is we will choose the very first entry of all the three burgers this three different types of burgers now you need to keep in mind that we have already sorted in non increasing order already non increasing order non increasing order right for all the three burgers so if case one we need to choose a box make a box such that the uh, sum of deliciousness will be maximized that is a plus b plus c is maximum and they are being chosen from the respective burger types so we will choose the very first entry that is the maximum ones for the respective burgers so our answer would be b11 plus b21 plus b31 okay now what just tell me that if k is 2 what is the next uh, combination of the box that we can have okay so now uh, the next combination of the box that we can have is since we have uh, chosen let's say for an instance since we have chosen this one the next uh, choosing factor can be this one or the next choosing factor can be if we uh, eliminate this one will be this one or the next choosing factor can be this one and we are going to forget this one it means that there are total three possibilities so let me write down so that is if we have chosen this one we will move to the next next smallest what sorry next second largest number of type burger b3 so our combination will be b11 b21 and earlier we have b31 right you can see b31 but here we are not going to use b31 we are going to choose the second largest number among the burgers of type 3 so we will choose b32 so this is the one of the combinations and the remaining combinations would be again b11 and yeah previously we are choosing b21 but we will move to the next second smallest of uh, number of type of burger second so we will choose b22 and again the next would be b31 yes the previous one same so there is one more combination b12 b21 and b uh, 31 okay so yeah you can easily observe that what actually i am doing is we uh, initially we have fixed the you can see starting values of all the burgers which are maximum right and in the next step we will always uh, consider all possible cases we will move this b11 like we will move the pointer let's say there is a pointer i equal to 0 initially of b1 then we will move i to this position and consider this one this one and this one okay uh, there are many possibilities if you will uh, consider like if you will move some j pointer over 0 to its next one that is over here then you have to consider this one 
this one and this one right because since we need to maximize the sum of the deliciousness we will always choose that set of combinations which will maximize our answer okay so and the next uh, values next combination can be this one this one and this one that is the second uh, uh, maximum number of the respective burger okay so let us take a small example and understand how things will work so let me just uh, pick out this one uh, here we can choose this example of uh, let me just uh, look it out here 222 so let me move out to the next page so we will have uh, x as 2 y as 2 z as 2 and the arrays are you can see 4 6 1 5 and 3 8 so 4 6 1 5 and 3 8 so we will first sort these in non-increasing order so we will have what 6 4 and again 5 1 and 8 3 5 1 and 8 3 All right and uh, here the value of k is 7 so let me write down k is 7 so the very first combination would be you can see take out the maximums so you can see uh, 6 5 and 8 okay so this will be the combination so let me write down over this position 6 5 and 8 okay and what is the next combination that we can have okay so the next combination that we can have is like initially we have 6 5 and 8 so we will uh, discard 6 and move to the next one so we will consider uh, 4 5 and 8 and again uh, this is the one of the combination and keep 6 as it is and move 5 to the next one so you will have 6 uh, 6 then the next one is 1 and we have 8 and again keep it as it is and move it to the next one so 6 5 and 3 so these are the next combinations then what we are going to do is we are going to extract the maximum sum okay now here comes the role of priority queue okay since we need to maximize the deliciousness each time we will extract out the maximum sum uh, corresponding pair okay so that uh, a, so that at each step the what is will be our priority our priority will be to maximize the sum of deliciousness so each time we will uh, extract the maximum value uh, giving maximum sum so there are three possibilities and these all are pushed into priority queue into priority queue right so when these all are pushed into the priority queue we will extract the maximum sum so what is the sum of this one it is 17 and sum of this one is 15 and sum of this one is 14 so the maximum is 17 so we will take the pair 4 comma 7 comma sorry 4 comma 5 comma 8 okay so 4 is taken 5 is taken and 8 is taken okay so whenever we will extract the maximum co uh, combination then we will choose out its next possible combination that is we have what 6 4 5 1 and 8 3 okay so this one and this one and this one is taken so first uh, so the next combination can be we can see we have uh, we are done with this one so fourths next is nothing so we are not going to consider it okay so fives next is one so we are going to consider four comma one comma eight as one of the next combination and also we can move eight to this position so we can have uh, four comma five comma three so these two elements are also pushed into the priority queue okay when these two elements are pushed into the priority queue then again the it is since it is the maxi so we will be working upon the sum so the the top element will contain the maximum sum combination pair and uh, and then again similar to this one here we have uh, popped out 458 and then again the, we will have 618 653 418 and 453 there are total four pairs in the priority queue then again the that combination will be extracted out which is going to give us the maximum sum okay 
so again when that uh, combination will be extracted out we will check out the next combinations by moving to the next position right so uh, by doing this one each time uh, like uh, let me mention it over here clearly by doing this step step of extracting the maximum sum combination max sum combination how many times we need to do that we need to do that exactly k times why we need to do that k times if we are doing this at k times then we have k times the maximum sum right of the corresponding pairs starting with the maximum value since we have sorted the array in non-increasing order right i hope uh, that uh, it is quite clear now so uh, yeah we can we are going to move out to the coding part where i will explain the rest of the logics and how we are going to implement that efficiently so let's move on so yeah so you can see i have uh, um, accepted verdict solution so what i am going to do is like first let us take us the inputs then k then we have three arrays b1 b2 b3 and yeah you these are the inputs that i have taken now we have sorted that in non increasing order now the important thing is how we are going to maintain the pairs and the reason behind this uh, sorting the arrays in non increasing order since we are we need to start from the maximum combination sum so you have taken a priority queue and there will be a, a array of size 4 in it and the very first entry of that uh, will be the sum through which the priority queue will be uh, balanced like we are going to have the max heap and the max heap is based on the sum that we are going to have and the correspondingly we are we have the combinations you can see the indexes of the respective burgers initially all have 0 0 0 right now we will take a set array visited that will keep track of the index the combination that is already being visited because it happens like some combination may be repeated so we need to take care for that we are not going to visit the same combination again now you can see since we pushed the pair 0 comma 0 comma 0 and its com corresponding sum into the priority queue we are going to also going to mark it as visited now the main thing comes answer as 0 and yes you can see the k steps that we are going to do each time pop out the maximum pop out pop out the combination at the top of the priority queue and you can see i have taken the zeroth entry which is actually the sum maximum sum you can see i am going to add it for k times okay so when we are choosing this combination so we are done with this combination so we will try to push out all the next possible combinations that is going to give us the maximum sum that may give the maximum sum so we will first find out the indexes i1 i2 i3 of the respective burgers okay now we'll check it out if i1 plus 1 is less than x and we have the next combination i1 plus 1 i2 and i3 is not visited then we will mark it as visited and push into the priority queue you can see like here and again you can see i2 plus 1 and i1 i2 plus 1 and i3 is the next combination and again i3 plus 1 should be less than z and you can see the next combination is i1 i2 and i3 plus 1 and if these three like a uh, if uh, this combination is valid we are going to insert into the visited set yes we have visited and we are going to push out into the priority queue you can see whenever i am trying to push out the elements in the priority queue it will be an array of size 4 you can see uh, like suppose if uh, i am pushing out the combination i1 plus 1 i2 and i3 okay so we are going to push out their sum as well as the combination right similarly over here okay when we are going to do this k times starting from the maximum sum we, are, we will always end with the you can see as asked in this question you can see we need to find out the maximum total sum of deletions that allies can get by buying k boxes so we will do this iteration k times and we will end up with the maximum sum so this will give you all test cases passed you can see over here so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video